Welcome. I'm Dr. Christine Trujillo, the proud superintendent of the Gilbert Community School District. I'm here for a few minutes with you today to really celebrate our governing board members. This month in Iowa, it's the Iowa School Board Recognition Month, and it's important that we take a few minutes to say thank you to this ingre incredible group, five board members that volunteer their time because they care about our community so deeply. I am very honored to work with them every single day as they spend time making decisions around budget and policy and really doing what's right for our community so that our kids can soar, our teachers can teach, our leaders can lead. It's an incredible work that they do and we're so grateful to all of them. So thank you and thank you for all you do. Congratulations on being a part of our board and really doing what's best for our entire community. Why am I on the Gilbert uh, School Board? Um, it kind of goes back to growing up. My uh, mother was a, a longtime teacher, actually quit teaching when I was born to stay home with uh, us. And then as I went on through school, my father uh, actually was on the school board in my little town in Illinois. I think he served eight or 12 years on the school board. So uh, education, especially public education, has been a longstanding, I'd say, tradition in our family. Um, and I guess prior to being on this school board, I was on the Gilbert Education Foundation for about seven years. Really, really loved that. Really gained appreciation for our community, what our community can do. And I just thought it was the best way to give back to this community was to serve on the school board. Um, enjoyed my four years on the board and I absolutely love the board members that I get to serve with. I wanted to be on the school board because I wanted to serve our community and our school district. We have four kids in the district and my husband and I want to make sure that we're doing what we can to um, make sure this is an excellent school district for all the kids in our community. My wife and I moved to Gilbert way back in 2002 and three kids, uh, the two oldest daughters were just starting school and our son was, wasn't even in school yet. And yet when we were looking at different school districts uh, around the Ames area, we quickly decided that Gilbert was where we wanted to be. Um, knowing that we wanted to be in the community is, well, how do we give back to the community? And my dad, when I was growing up, was on our school board up in Northwest Iowa in Spencer. And so I'd seen the, you know, the importance of contributing back and providing leadership into the community. And when I was asked in 2011 if I would be interested in serving on the Gilbert School Board, um, I did have to reflect on, well, am I willing to put in that much time? Because it does take some time. But it was, it was the right answer to say, yes, I, I would love to support the community. And it's been a great 12 years uh, in supporting the school board and, and watching as we grow, watching as our district matures, and watching as our district gets prepared even for more into the future. Serving on the school board comes with uh, a lot of responsibilities, uh, a lot of challenges, but, but also a lot of, uh, I, I think, fulfillment for what you can do back for the community. And here in Gilbert, we've got what we believe is a unique, unique district with lots of parental support, lots of activities going on, and yet, it really still requires some strong leadership at the board level to make sure that we've got leadership within the district that has the kids first and foremost in mind. And when I say that, it's are we really paying attention to our curriculum? Are we really paying attention to what we have for extracurricular activities? At the board level, we get to hear those stories. We get to provide some input. Ultimately, we're responsible for the financial component. Let's make sure that we're financially responsible, that we're taking care of not only our operational budget, but like we're doing right now, looking at, well, what do we need to be doing for the facilities to look into the future as we continue to grow? And then the other area is policy. And uh, that's one where, for example, when we went through COVID, 
Well, there was a lot of discussions. Uh, there was folks on both sides of, of the uh, issue, and yet we were able, I think, as Gilbert to come together and figure things out. So uh, serving on the board uh, certainly has its moments where um, you, you come up with some challenging situations, but overall it's been uh, very fulfilling here at Gilbert and I believe that it's so important that we continue to have strong leadership going forward. It is a joy to be on the school board alongside four other members and everybody brings their own perspective and experiences to the discussion. Um, but what I have found is we're all united under one goal and that is to serve the kids in our district. And I don't think one person could do the job that us five do because we get a team up to think about um, what is best and having different voices in the room is really important. Um, but I feel really proud to be a part of something bigger and just a small part because there's so many other wonderful people um, that are contributing. When I first actually joined the school board, uh, some advice that I got early on was everything you decide is you decide what's best for the kids. Um, that seems very simple, uh, which it is very simple. Whatever you decide is you feel what's best for every single student within the community. Um, you know, going through COVID, that was difficult because that affected all kids and it, there was really no right or wrong answer throughout that process. But again, I, I think it, we learned a lot about understanding why we're on the board, what the purpose of the board is, and what we can do every day to help those kids out. Um, and again, the, the purpose of being here, is, <laughs> there's no political agendas, and, and that's something that I am very, very passionate about, about our board, is we have all seen what politics can do. Um, politics in our boardroom when discussing kids is, uh, I am not for. Um, I am for discussing what is best for our community and what is best for our kids. I want to personally thank our governing board members. They're an incredible group of people. Jeff Moseman, Tyler Hulk, Melissa Pearson, Josh Bennett, and our governing board president, Andrew Rickliffs. This dedicated group, to, group of people come together and they make decisions so that our kids have the best education. They have the best learning every single day. And I, as I've said earlier, this is a voluntary position and we're so grateful to them for the time and the energy that they put into this position. I'm grateful to them every day. I'm fortunate to get to work with them almost every day with their great questions and the work that we do together. So I want to say thank you to each and every one of them. I hope you'll join me in thanking them as well. Thank you so much for all that you do, for your time and energy, and for really doing our best for our entire Gilbert community.